Aloha friends! Hi guys! I um, wanted to show you another video of um, the steps I do to create my own personal canvas for my family and so I've already done a video about it but I don't think that I explained it properly. There was a lot of questions on it. It's one of my uh, very popular videos. It's the canvas to photo to canvas um, video that I made. So I'm going to redo it this time and showing you step by step and instead of me just holding the camera I'm actually going to put it on a tripod so hopefully that helps you guys out. So just to show you guys these are just a couple of the canvases that I've made for my family and you know this is um, Miss Danny so there is Miss Danny and I just took this um, out of their the girls' room, and you guys know that this is um, um, this one is my daughter Danielle. But I was gonna say this two over here was the two canvas that I was making with my um, with my video um, that I made a few months ago regarding making your own canvas. And the comments that I've had was just um, there was a lot of questions on it. One really funny quest, really one funny, not question, one funny comment was that it was fake. It is not fake. <laughs> this is my daughter. <laughs> this is my other daughter. It's not fake. <laughs> um, I did take these pictures myself. As um, some of you know, I am a photographer. And it's not fake because here's the photo. Here's the canvas. And here you go. Not fake. Okay. I'm going to show you guys the process and hopefully I can explain it better this time. Alright, this will be the supplies that you guys will need for the photo to, um, photo to canvas um, image. It's not a transfer. I've had a lot of comments on that too. This is not a transfer. I don't know how to do the transfer version. But what you're going to need is, I'm sorry, I have to... Um, what you will need is a canvas like this, and I got this from um, Hobby Lobby. You can also get it from Joann's. It comes like this. You can either buy it in one pack or multiple packs. And here's one that I, I'm almost done with my son. So, so you take the wrapper out and it's just a canvas. It's just a, one of those cheap, um, canvas that you can buy for like four dollars or six dollars okay then you will need a print um, that you can print off at your favorite local printing site I usually go to Kinko's um, and it comes in like this rolled up so what I do a couple of hours before I'm ready to to actually assemble my canvas is lay it out like this and this is something that I just put together this morning because of um, getting ready with the kids so I left it this morning I just happened to have one of my kids books and I just got some heavy items from the pantry and basically what I did is just since it comes in a roll like this it's very difficult to to put it flat onto the canvas with it rolled so I like to flatten the the photo first and this is actually for a wedding that I'm going to do tomorrow. This is one of my gifts for them. And this is a 16 by 20 print that I printed at Costco. And it costs, for one print, it costs $5.99. Um, somebody asked, will it also work for laser and ink print? I believe it can because all it is... This is just basically a decoupage process, so I believe it can work with both printers. But this is the image that I'm going to do. I'm actually going to do three, but I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to show you all three of them. This is one of their favorite shots. So, like I said, I planned, in, I planned the, the photo out this morning so it's not so rolled. Okay. Then what you will need then also what you will need is a um, cutting board and a rotary tool. This is a rotary tool. This is a cutting board. You don't necessarily need this. Um, you can actually go, Costco offers their own cutting machine. 
because the reason that you would need that is because if the prints like this have these excess um, borders you would need to trim that off because the 16 this is a 16 by 20 print this is a 16 by 20 canvas and the 16 by 20 is the perfect size of the image and a lot of the printing sites a lot of the lab sites such as Costco offer these little extra eighth of an inch around the photo um, border um, when they give you guys the image you would need to trim that off otherwise it will not be a perfect fit onto your canvas okay so that that's what the rotary tool and the board is used for you will need um, this is called a decoupage brush and I've used this um, uh, several times and I always just rinse it off with water and then it'll dry up but what you need to do is just basically work work it and now it's perfect just like new always rinse it off with um, cool water and uh, dish soap after each use do not allow the decoupage to um, stay on to the brush so they don't ruin it then you will need your medium a medium is basically what you're gonna apply onto the photo to make it stick to the canvas um, I am using Mod Podge and it comes um, my Joann's comes in um, two varieties which is gloss and matte and I've also seen it in semi gloss but they currently do not have that I'm going to use the gloss finish for this project and again you can get this at Joann's this costs $9.99 at Joann's but with the 40% off coupon it's about $5 you will also need a clear acrylic matte coating this will go after the whole thing is finished it will basically protect it from dust it will protect it from um, from wetness uh, if you spill something on it um, basically the this clear acrylic matte coating will protect your canvas for a longer period of time then you will need a bowl and a foam brush. Let's get started. All right, I went ahead and trimmed the three edges and I'm down to my last, um, last bottom edge. And this is the tricky part. You gotta make sure that um, you don't cut past where you need to cut. Otherwise, it, ru it ruins the whole image for you. So. And before you move this, make sure that you're able to peel it off. Otherwise, you're, you're gonna have to align it. There it is. So now. All right, instead, um, for the canvas, I just decided right now, instead of using um, a brand new canvas, and brand new canvas comes in all white, as you can see, all white, I'm gonna go ahead and re reuse or recycle one of the old canvases that I had for my previous project so what I um, as you guys can see there's a color around the border and how I got that is just basically um, picked out some two uh, coordinating colors that I was going to use for my um, for my photo with the kids I'm gonna end up using these for the for this one because I think with the gray around the edge instead of all white, it will create a um, it will create a more um, I don't know more custom feel because uh, it goes with the the colors rather than just all white and then the black and white photo that they have. I'm just gonna do the um, the brand new canvas on that one, but for these two. For these one and then the other print, they're almost, they're the same, almost the same, just different poses. I'm gonna use this one. And like I said, all I did was just use these. Um, if you were interested in the color, it's a Martha Stewart um, a wedding cake is um, one of them. And then the other one is just acrylic um, paint, which is just a gray. And then I just mixed the two together. Mixed it up before I apply the um, 
the brush. I have to show you guys this because I'm, you know, there's just comments there saying I didn't show the steps. So I just mix it up together with, with a Q-tip so that um, it's all blended. And then I apply it, let it dry before actually um, putting the decoupage, okay? So just make sure it's fully dry. I went ahead and opened up my Mod Podge um, gloss finish, shake, um, shaked up the bottle. I will then pour what I need onto my little, my bowl and you don't need to, you don't really need too much for the first layer. You don't want your first layer to be too thick and then always make sure to close back the lid um, because you will have a problem once it dries out, it will have lumps, sorry. It will have lumps onto your next project, so make sure that you it's very clean around the um, the rim and fully tight. Okay, now to start the process. How I do my process is that I get my a large bowl. This will act as a um, as a thing for me to easily apply my um, my decoupage so that I can actually go around the edges without the, the decoupage going onto the surface of my table. Okay, so not a lot. And you don't have to be perfect at this of applying it. You just apply it directly onto the canvas, but make sure that you fully cover everything because this will act like the glue for for your photo. The photo will be on top of this, face up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to say this because there was just so many comments onto my other video that I have to make sure that I'm explaining it right so that you guys can, can do this process too because it's very cheap. $5.99 for my 16 by 20, this is like $4. So it's about $11, $12 for, um, the whole project if you've already have the Mod Podge and the, the brush set, which I do. I, I actually have a couple of the Mod Podge. So it's actually really good. I have, I have a couple of um, canvases for my girls into their room. Really, really um, efficient, money efficient. Okay, so it's now fully covered onto the surface. You don't want any lumps. And then the reason that I have the bowl is because it's hard to get the edges. You make sure that you also get the edges. Because the Mod Podge does not only act as a glue for your photo. I hope I'm not yelling. It's just I feel like I'm so far away from the camera. It also protects the canvas from dirt. So it, um, it creates like a coating of barrier. So just make sure you have no lumps. Just go over it again. There you go. And this is when you have to work a little quickly because you don't want it to, to dry. And then also because it's mostly going to cover the edge where you really want it to cover the edge, make sure that you apply enough coating to the edge to where the photo will stick. And then flatten it out. Make sure there's no lumps. Okay. I'm gonna work, work quickly because I need to put my photo on top of that. Make sure that my table is clean. Oh. Here's my photo. I'm gonna use my, my, um, okay, here's, I'm gonna take that out of the bowl. Okay. 
here is my mat I want to make sure okay I want to make sure that it's able for you guys to see it uh, I'm gonna place it down canvas photo decoupage all we have to do okay this is the tricky part all we have to do is just align It's still wet, so you can still um, work around it, but make sure that you do not touch your photo with your wet hand. And now you see there's a glue, make sure you wipe it. There, you can still move it a little bit, because I know that, okay, just, Try to flatten it as much as you can, but this is hard because the canvas is very um, delicate and so will the picture. You don't want to ruin your picture. So this is my trick. This is what I do. This is why I put it onto a mat. So I get this, make sure my, oh, just ruined my table. Okay, well this one is clean. So then I, it's like baking a cake. Do I get it? Flip over. Okay. And then, this is when I will flatten it. And I can feel bubbles. I hope you guys can see this. Okay, so I zoomed in just so that you guys can see. So you saw me flip it over. And the only reason I did that is because I need to flatten this part. And like I said, the canvas, very delicate in the middle because it only has the, the wood edges. Now I'm over explaining this because the, uh, the video, there was a couple of comments like, why did you flip it over? And I'm patting it really well because I want the photo to stick to the canvas and then when you flatten it just spread it outwards okay making sure it's dry Again, this is not even for me, this is for a client, so it is actually that easy and that beautiful to make as a gift for somebody.